Welcome back to finals day here at the Quicksilver Pro Gold Coast. We're into the quarterfinals and the second heat's a solid one. Goofy foot versus a regular foot. Australia versus Brazil. Maddie Wilkinson against the world champ Adrian Vesoza wearing yellow as he's on top of the Jeep leaderboard to start a brand new year. And he's coming out blazing. Big heats for Adriano de Souza, especially after taking out Mikey Wright once he recovered through round two. And now we have a classic battle on paper pots. When you look at these two guys, they really are polar opposites in the, way, the maneuver choice, the way they roll. They're both epic human beings, and you love when these kind of matchups come up on paper. You know, their lifestyles, their, their, just their personalities, the way they surf, the way they approach the waves. But I'll tell you what, Matty Wilkinson is slowly closing the gap as far as professionalism goes. And this is why, I mean, he's, he's definitely, to me, one of the standouts in this event. You know, most improved? Absolutely. Most entertaining? Absolutely. So, you know, he's got a couple of things going for him that really could swing in his favour. And at the moment, just cracking this wave all the way through the inside. So, Matty Wilco, oh, he, he can't do that. That's exactly what he's not allowed to do right now, especially against this guy, De Souza, who's going to come out. He's not going to make too many mistakes. He's had a couple of weird heats through this event. Un uncharacteristic, maybe that's just nerves right there beautiful surfing from de souza look how long he holds that rail and drives back into the white water classic stuff from de souza this way of going a little wide so this is what the judges don't like this is where we're, we're questioning scores in that first heat if you've got this kind of downtime on a wave it's not going to set well with the judges you've got to keep swinging you've got to find those waves that just let you have those seamless transitions and uh, just keep posting turn after turn De Souza, though, one that doesn't give up on a wave and finishes that off all the way through the inside. A couple of small scores at the moment. Um, just a 4.5 for Matty Wilco, 4.9 for De Souza's first two waves. Matty Wilco's last one, a 6.83, and then we're just waiting for that last score from Adriano. So this heat is off to a quick start. Well, he's, uh, he's done all the hard work at this stage. I think um, he's closer now than he ever has been. So he's just got to stick to his guns. This is De Souza. Already has a 4.9. Trying to wash away a 1.83, but he wants the lead here. Clean carves. He's just got an easy tempo. Not rushing the pace. A little highline wrap off the top. More of an aggressive roundhouse as this wave is picking up the pace here. Drawn out carve, and now into the inside track. The world champ jams the layback finish. Little speed to burn down the line, and he's got an inside corner now. Continuing that wrapping cut back just to hug the pocket and just waits for the lip to throw a little bit more power and now hopping out of a long wave. So right there, De Souza will get rid of a 183. He needed a 6.44 to take the lead because Lasta Wilco came in at a 6.83. It almost felt like he had won the whole contest at that point. And then you realize how much passion this guy's holding inside him and he tries to let it go at the end of the events. As we'll take another look at this wave. Well, this is exactly what he did yesterday against Connor. You know, he was uh, he was put in second spot straight off the bat with Connor's eight. Done the same thing here with Matty Wilco's six eight three. Watch this surfing right now. There's nothing radical about it, but it's just seamless, clean, smooth surfing. You know, he's just waiting for it to, to happen. He's not trying to force the issue. Now he unloads that layback trademark turn from De Souza. Now we think it, the, the wave's over, but it's not. You know, this is the guy that doesn't give up on a wave, as you said, Joe. He's going to keep plucking away. He's going to keep milking this one through to, to get as many points out of it as possible. A 5.83. So back in back into this heat due to just a, a, a very average sort of wave that sort of turned into something kind of special. Matty Wilkinson, 6.83 and a 4.5. De Souza, a 5.83. His low score of 4.9s, keeping the world champ in second. So he still needs a 5.51 from the panel. You know, if you're just looking at the ocean, you can't really tell. But if you watch someone... Like I kept an eye on Strider from where he was in the beginning of uh, talking to us to now. And he's literally moved about 50 metres up the point. So that is he's going pretty quick. As we check out the former Wilco one more time, Potts. Yeah, you see, this is the waves that he's looking for. That's what he's got to do if he wants to take out De Souza. He needs to find those vertical face waves. He needs to climb straight up vertical, get that board up towards 12 o'clock. Now, when we talk 12 o'clock, if you're looking at a, a clock sitting on your wall, the number 12 right in the middle, that's where the nose of the board's pointing. Um, and that just shows that degree of difficulty um, and that uh, little bit more radicalness in the turn. Judges are going to reward that. Rolling in now to Souza without priority. Has a little bit of freedom to move and he'll adjust his positioning now. There's another wave out the back and Wilco has to go under it. Utilizing your priority properly. You know, just those things that really contribute to, to winning heats, to, to winning events. 
And once you start doing that, then you you know Matty Wilco's looking at top five, top ten, top ten, top five, and quite possibly on his way to world title. Now De Souza, without priority, starts with a forehand jam. Nice vertical flow and rhythm to this inside track. He'll wrap this cut back and now set up for more rail work. Clean lines off the top again, and he's looking for just a 5.51 for the lead. Wilco now getting started. Low tail hack out the back, and he'll slowly ride out. Meanwhile, De Souza is jamming a layback. And looks like he is on his way to a lead change here in this quarterfinal matchup. Once again, under the priority, De Souza has been doing this all event long, Potts. He has. Um, you know, you heard Strata talk about the fact that he's not rushing things. He's, you know, it's a slow moving ocean this morning, so he is sort of fitting himself in with that. He's just moving around. Obviously, Matty Wilco is sitting a little wider. Him, you know, De Souza paddled further up, in, up the point snuck that little wave in so what is he looking to improve on a 4.90 ultimately looking for a 5.51 so i think the soza could get that lead change but right behind maddie wilco probably one of the best moves of the heat but didn't find that connection through the inside so that's going to hurt the scoring potential let's have a look at it right now as he races down the line i love this bottom turn right here look how low he gets and then throws that tail out the back that's that spontaneity that that x factor that maddie wilco brings to it but then kicked out of that there was nothing left on the wave so wilco deciding to get back out in the lineup. And you see how hard that is to do. Backside, here comes Wilco again. Straight into a top turn wrap. But keep that motion going off the top. Now it's starting to pick up the pace without him. So a couple of quick scores for Wilco. That won't change his total. And we'll wait for DeSouza on his last to see if he got the 5-5-1, a heated quarter final. Well, you know what, it's, you know what it is, Joe? He, He's, he's got confidence in, in his decision making and I think that's what it's all about. You know, he, he doesn't give up on the wave once he commits to it and this is what, uh, what his forte is. I mean, this was underneath Matty Wilco's priority. This is a, probably a, pr a priority glitch for, for Wilco. You know, letting DeSouza give him, him some room to do this. Now, it's not, not going to be a huge score, but it's going to change the situation and it's going to give uh, DeSouza more and more confidence in his decision making. The waves I'm catching, the, the, the moves I'm making on the wave, you know, just that whole thing of, of determining what to do at that point in time, that's going to give him more and more confidence saying, I'm on the right track, just keep doing what you're doing. Last number coming in for the world champ. It's a 6.9 to Souza takes the lead off Matty Wilkinson. Now at 8.45 to go in this quarterfinal. It seemed like he performed better without the yellow jersey on last season. He likes just working hard and putting up big numbers as he gets going again. Clean jam into a forehand hook, snapping off the top. De Souza starting to feel it. Down carved right into a bottom turn for a beautiful two for one, and he's got more room. Easy climb. Hunting down some clear water. Just a little check to set up this one off the top. And now De Souza letting go a little bit, calling for the ski, eight minutes to go. He's trying to improve once again under priority. Now Wilco needs to answer. Tight backhand jam for Matty Wilkinson. Another one off the top, still staying up fairly full in the face, so he'll stick to that backhand cut in. He has to get out again. This is a, a carbon copy of, of yesterday's heat with Connor, where he just, the Souza just kept plucking away, just kept rolling the dice, kept catching waves underneath the priority. Only two guys remaining from the top 10 picture from the Jeep leaderboard from last year in Toledo and De Souza, and they could be running right into each other in the semifinals. And Potts looks like De Souza wants to get started. He'll do a fin throw reverse to start under priority. Just doing that to show that he's in complete control. We just hit the five minute warning. Yeah, we did. Uh, De Souza matched his second highest score on that last one, a 5.83. So situation is right now De Souza in the lead. Matty Wilco needing a 5.91. Wilco's held priority in this matchup for 93% of the time. He started with a 6-8-3 in the lead. De Souza doesn't need priority to win heats, and he showed that with a 5-8-3 and a 6-9, as we'll take another look here. Yeah, this is his uh, second 5-8-3. This was underneath the, the priority of Matty Wilco. To me, it was one of those ways that would have suited the way Wilco surfed. You know, he would have got a couple of big turns out the back, and then De Souza just fading and just drawing these big turns. Watch this bottom turn right here. Look. I think it's this next one. He holds the bottom turn for so long, it's, it's unbelievable. 
Um, he's got that really drawn out bottom turn. He sets that inside rail and he literally just draws off the bottom. That gives him that ability to then just unload those big turns. So De Souza starting to uh, just build his momentum, starting to believe again. And that's what he does. You know, he, he starts off the heat slow, then he comes back strong. If he starts off the heat strong, he generally leads through the whole way. So he's starting to work out his professional game. He's like you said, he's got plan A down all the way down to, to the last letter of the alphabet. So, um, you know, he's, he's becoming more and more of a complete competitor. Well, 20 seconds to go and uh, there's a little bit of a bump right here. Is this it? Is this the 591? There's a lot of pressure on Wilco right now. It's all coming down to this wave. Big vertical snap to get down the line. Jams it hard in the pocket. Coming around the corner in the open face. Sets it back up. We're going to hear the horn sound and it's going to come down to his finish here as he's looking for a 5.91. The surfer from Copacabana, New South Wales, under pressure to upset the world champ. He has the board speed. A big section, tags it vertically. Now off the bottom, drives through a beautiful backhand carve. He'll over-rotate on the bottom turn, but he's feeling it. De Souza now running through the inside. We'll see if this came in in time before the horn. As he's just got that easy tempo and pace. He'll fly away on the inside corner. And those moments, Pots, we just love when a surfer gets a chance to answer back. Wilco under pressure. The horn rank halfway through that ride and the judges are going to make a decision and when you think back on those waves let's have a look here nice opening turn from Wilco that's probably the best turn of the of the wave right there transition maneuvers just waiting for it to stand up through the inside now he starts to look down the line waiting for more waiting for more a little bit of downtime here still waiting and now he starts to hit the gas he sees that section his feet move further up the board, so that's going to really hinder that, getting that, see how he didn't get that board all the way around like he normally does. And another beautiful slashing maneuver, a little bit of a mistake right there. Very interesting scenario, Matt Wilkinson under pressure. He has a world champ in his heat, and he's trying to create a major upset to try to get to his first semi-final, a 5-9-1. We're talking about he sat with priority, and the judge is about to make the decision. A 6.33 for the Australian. Matt Wilkinson takes the lead off the world champ on his final wave. Under pressure to perform, and the Australians let him know how proud they are of creating a major upset in this contest. That was amazing, Joe.